Ciao bella! Let's head over to Italy and take a little look at what's up for offer in the old out of contract world, boys and girls. I'm going to give you the best possible 11 from Serie A for free! That's right folks, back once again with another out of contract 11. This time we've gone over to Syria A and take a little look at the best possible 11 that's going to cost you absolutely nothing. That's right. In a world, or in, in a whole host of... That's right folks, back once again with another video. This time we're taking a look at the best possible out of contract 11 from Syria A. We'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep you back up to date with all things Syria A related and Blackburn Rovers related. World Football Relay, we know here. No one Ruski, that's right. Of course, the football is not here for the time being, but we could still take a look at one of the best players that are on the on the offering for every club around the world. Uh, and these boys are coming at you for free. And we'll get to that in just one second. And boys and girls, one big shout out. Oh yeah, you know who you're talking about. The, the VIP 10. That's right, the exclusive gang. One more and I've got an 11 myself for the Patreons. I'm uh, looking at Aztec Marky, Mark, Daniel Mella, Constable 1976, Mitchell Shone, Tom Clark, Tom Beresford, John Spurn, The Ledge, Cody Coho, Russell Frost, and of course, no co-drinker. That makes up the dream te team of 10. Looking for number 11 now to make up a, a squad uh, to challenge these boys. That's right. If you want to join that VIP exclusive gang, there is a link down below in the old description, patreon.com forward slash Rovers And you can join for the cup, for the price of a cup of one of these instant coffees. That's right. Well, this is actually a Keurig. So, uh, yeah, along the same lines anyway. So, yes, let's get cracking and take a little look at the wilderness. That is Syria, ah, boys and girls. So, yeah, we're going to go with a 4-5-1 once again, just like we did with the old Bundesliga. But this time, uh, we're going to start with a man who's won it all. Oh, yeah. Back uh, once again over at Juventus after a little short, sharp stint uh, over at PSG. Will he continue, though? Will he continue after this season? That's the question mark. He's only been there the, the one season. Uh, it is uh, Gianluca, Gianluigi Buffon. That's right. 42 now. Uh, but uh, it's just like a fine wine. Gets better with age. Still good. Uh, he's got seven games, seven goals conceded. Just the one clean sheet this season. But I'm sure he could still cut the mustard at a, at a second tier level. Maybe uh, Serie B, Championship, whatever he is. 42 years of age. I'm, cool. I'm sure the wages will be absolutely crazy. That's going to ha haunt him a little bit if he's going to if he's going to make a make a name for himself elsewhere so but he slots in there nicely of course he will he is the one of the best uh, most experienced pair of hands that's been there seen it and done it for uh over in Syria. Ah, so who's going to join him in the back four then? Well, we're going to start with who do we have at the left back? We have, of course, it's one of Manchester United's favorites exports. It is Ashley Young. Yes, he's only signed on to the end of the season with Inter Milan. Uh, 34 years of age, uh, a bit of a universal player. He has, he's, he has won the Premier League uh, for Man United. Uh, just the five games, one goal, one assist. Sorry, two assists for Inter Milan. He only joined in January, so he's still got uh, a few games left to impress himself for an extended contract. Play on the left hand side, right hand side, left midfield. He can also play further forward as well as a winger. We did back in the day. He's over in the slow man's league now. That is Syria. And he's doing very, very well for himself. I think they like him. Uh, so he slots in at left back. No problems there, boys. He's a, he's a good acquisition. But uh, will he make a return to the English game? Or really, will he find his, his home here in Italy? Uh, alongside him, we've got a very, very experienced uh, man. And it is a, another big time winner out in Italy. His name is Gio, what's his name? Giorgio Cellini. That's right. Uh, captain for Juventus these days. 35 years of age. Played for Italy. 100 three times eight goals to his name as well center back extraordinaire uh, he is very very good uh, just the three games and one goal this season so as uh, Juventus try to turn a different corner once valued at around about 25 26 million pounds back in the day uh, formerly a Fiorentina was signed by Juventus back in 2005 he also played for Livorno as well uh, again he's getting on a little bit bit but still still competes uh, whenever need whenever called upon but will he have another uh, sort of chapter in the book of Cellini well uh, I, I was expecting him to be in the old Euro 2020 setup, but of course, if he wants to go again for Italy, he's going to have to play another season somewhere else. That's that's another thing that we're not really not really talked about, not really focused about. Is the the aging players who are about to give it up internationally at the end of this tournament. There are some Italian players, of course. There's some some other uh, English players, perhaps. They're going to have to do it out another year if they're going to go for the country. You know, the, you know, Italy have, have probably a good chance of winning the Euros uh, whenever it comes around. Anyway, joining them as centre back, we have a bit more value, uh, a bit more of you upon them. Uh, we're going to take a little look at him. His name is John Luis Palomino. He's an Argentinian centre-back. Around about eight, uh, 7.5 million pounds, 8 million pounds, something like that. He 
He is very ill, reasonably young, 30 years of age, playing his football for Atalanta, who are just doing bits of themselves over in Italy, uh, and of course in the Champions League. He'll sit in nicely alongside Cellini and uh, Ashley Young. Is it quite an, an old old man back four, back five, including the goalkeeper? He's played 21 times for uh, uh, Atlanta in the league. One goal, one assist as well. Formerly of Ludo Goretz and FC Metz. Uh, he was gobbled up uh, for around about four million pounds from Ludo Gretz, but his value has shot up ever since. He's kind of dipped a little bit, uh, but he's only uh, 30 years of age, so he's still got a good two or three years at prime time football ahead of him, wherever he may be. Uh, and then wrapping up the back four, we have uh, an aging fella who's been around a little bit. I'm playing him as right back. He can play anywhere across the back line. Uh, I think more often you'll see him as a centre back. Uh, formerly of Lazio, Juventus, Southampton. I think he was at Liverpool at one stage. Was he at Liverpool one stage? Uh, Barcelona. This guy's been been there, seen it and done it. I'm trying to see if he was at Liverpool. But anyway, he wasn't. Uh, Martin Casareques, uh, all the sorts of family of uh, Sevilla as well. Uh, so here he is. He is, what, how is he now? 30, 33 years of age. Uruguayan international, 98 caps, four goals. Um, yeah, decent option at right about 20 games this season for uh, Fiorentina. Just a one goal. Um, again, can play anywhere at the back line there and available, available for now. So he'll come in there and put him at right back because that's the way we roll. Yeah, so that's a, a very, very experienced, wise uh, back four there. A lot of captain material, that sort of stuff. Been there, seen it, done it. Now we go into five-man midfield. Um, where do we start? Where are we going to start with our five-man midfield? We're going to take a look at... Um, where does this guy play? It looks like the right-hand side. His name is Lorenzo de Silvestri. Coming at you from uh, Torino. He's 31 years of age. Where are you, Silvestri? Here he is. Uh, played 19 times this season for Torino. It was a, a, bit, a bit of a wobbly season. Uh, that, those 19 games make up 72% of all the time. You can also play at right back as well. Should we want to go three at the back, we could push him at, uh, you know, um, at, at right back as well. So he's a good option. 31 years of age, formerly of Sampdoria, Fiorentina and Lazio way back when. Uh, once valued at a little bit more respectable, £5 million. Pounds, but now going for around about £2.5 million, But this season, at the end of the season, he'll be going for free. So he'll slot in there nicely at right side midfield. Looking good. Uh, let's move into the centre of, mid of midfield now. Here's one for you. Uh, a familiar face. It is, uh, in fact, we'll save him for later. Uh, how about this guy? Uh, central defensive midfielder. He's got a, got a bit of experience. Again, there's a lot of age in this. I, I, I should really give... Um, the, the, the how old this 11 makes up. Uh, but uh, we got this guy. His name is uh, Luca Biglia. He's 34 years of age, coming at you from AC Milan. Um, seven games this season, one assist. Defensive midfielder, central midfielder as well. Uh, formerly of Lazio. Once uh, went for around about £17 million pounds from Lazio to AC Milan back in 2017. Formerly of Anderlecht, an independent day out of Argentina. He's actually an Argentine international, 58 caps, one goal. I'm going to plug him right in the middle of the, of the field here as defensive midfielder extraordinaire. So he'll slot in there and boss the midfield. So, yeah, good acquisition there. Now a bit of value for you. Jose Calderon coming at you from Napoli. Around about £8.5 million rated. Can play on the right side of midfield. Can also play on the left. Um, he, I'm forcing him to play in the middle of the park. You're going to play in the middle of the park. 23 games, two goals, six assists for you uh, for this former uh, Spanish international as well. He's actually played five caps for, for Spain. Formerly of Real Madrid. Espanol as well. Went for a song around about £8.5 million. Pounds, uh, and that's the current rate for him. He's been at the club since 2013. Contract does expire at the end of the season so he is going to go in at uh alongside this mucker this might be a little bit off actually but we're going to put him there anyway i'm actually in fact i'm going to put him on the left hand side put him on the left hand side uh who else do we have we have um next up coming at you from ac milan uh, box standard central midfielder. He's, he's getting on a little bit as well. It's Giacomo Bonaventura. He's 30 years of age. Uh, Italian international. 13 caps to his name. 8.5 million pound value as well. Uh, been at AC Milan uh, for a couple of seasons now. Went for about 6.3 million pounds from Atalanta. Uh, formerly of Padova as well back in the day. Uh, he's actually played 17 times. Two goals this season for uh, AC Milan. Can play on the left hand side as well. Uh, so we're going to snug him on the left hand side. In fact, we're going to put him in the, in the centre center of the park alongside uh, Biglia. So this guy uh, adds a bit of Italian uh, depth to the squad there and experience as well. Uh, so he goes in there. And then we have this the curious case of this fella, uh, Fabio Barini, formerly of Liverpool. Here we go. And Sunderland, uh, AC Milan as well. He was sold to, uh, or we made the switch from AC Milan to Hellas for running for free at the start of, the, of January um, as AC Milan picked him up for £4.9 million at the end of 2018. Uh, he can play as a striker. A left-sided winger, right-sided winger. But we're going to play him in the central midfielder. Just because. I think, realistically, we might have wanted him up top. 
but because the formation allows. In fact, screw that. Hold your horses, folks. We'll do a bit of a we'll do a bit of an uh, uh, ad an edit on the fly. Problem solved. There we go. We'll stick Barini up top uh, to be a two-man strike force. That's right. We're going to go with a 4-4-2 now. Completely changed it, changed it on you on the fly. And leading the line is one of the most uh, hot prospects in space. He's not prospect, really. He's a veteran striker, but he's still got an incredible value, incredible goal-scoring form. It is, of course, Belgian international Dries Mertens. He's now 32 years of age. He'll be 33 when the season resumes, probably in May. Uh, but he's still got goals in him. 21 games, six goals, five assists, 18 million pound value. Uh, Chelsea will looking at him but uh, you know 33 is getting on a little bit you're swapping Giroud for this fella that's the potential anyway he can play as a striker central midfielder uh, sorry a left winger second striker formerly of Utrecht Eindhoven Ghent as well out in Belgium uh, a bit of a late bloomer as well uh, making the switch to uh, Utrecht for £500,000 uh, and then he was gobbled up by PSV uh, PSV then sold him to Napoli for uh, around about £8.5 million pound back in 2013. And he's been scoring goals for Napoli ever since. So this guy, yep, you notice on the back of the net, it might not have been so fortuitous this time around, but he's still available and still rated very, very highly. And I see him going. Uh, I, th I think he'll leave Napoli this season. Um, so that makes up the starting eleven, uh, albeit after a bit of an ad, uh, edit on the fly. But there's still some other additional uh, savvy players available to make up the bench. We'll start with between the sticks, Inter Milan backup goalkeeper uh, Daniel Pardelli. He comes in. Where are you, son? He's actually uh, much, much younger than uh, than uh, Buffon, coming in at uh, 34 years of age. Um, three cat, three games, four goals conceded, just the one clean sheet. He's been around the, the block a little bit. He's actually got a red card uh, heading into this, so we'll be able to spend it whenever the games resume. Um, formerly of Torino, Sampdoria, uh, Crotone, Liverpool as well for a little bit. Um, so he's been around around the place. Not really first team material. Definitely a good backup option for you. So he will be uh, a, the contender for uh, backup goalkeeper. I'll save him. Uh, what about this guy? We've got um, a familiar face to some folks out in did he, Liverpool. That's right. It is a former Liverpool centre-back Roger Cl or Ragnar Klavin, uh, Estonian international, tw 126 caps, three goals. Where are you, son? He's actually playing his football now in Cagliari. Uh, 34 years of age, centre back, played 22 times this season, which is 76% of all action. He can play at left back, centre back uh, as well. Formerly of Cagliari, well, he's on the books of Cagliari, Augsburg, AZ Alkmaar, um, and of course Liverpool for a brief couple seasons. Not really, uh, not really first team material. Good depth option for him. So he's there. He's getting football at uh, in Syria, but will it continue? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, next up, we have this fella. A bit of eh, not much value in this guy. Uh, Borja Valero. He's a Spanish, former Spanish international. Had one cap to his name. Uh, box standard midfielder. Could also play as an attacking midfielder as well. Um, 35 years of age. Nine games, one goal to his name. Formerly of Fiorentina. He also uh, played for West Brom back in the day. Mallorca as well. Um, that's probably when he got his cap. Uh, it was once valued at around about £20 million. Goodness me, gracious me. Now valued at £1 million. Uh, next up, we have another midfielder. Box standard central defensive midfielder. Again, I think he's played in the Premier League. Uh, uh, where, are, where are you, mate? It's Valon Barami. Former... West Ham player, that's right, uh, back in the day. Uh, and Watford as well. Sion over in Switzerland. Udinese uh, is currently with Genoa, formerly Lazio back in the day. He's a uh, current or maybe even former Swiss international. 83 caps, two goals. He is 34 years of age. Defensive midfielder, midfielder can also play on the right-hand side. Uh, he's played seven times just for, uh, for Genoa this season. But he's going to go for a song at the end of it. And then wrap it up. It's the big man. It's the god himself. Slatan Ibrahimovic, uh, of course, made the switch from LA Galaxy. Hard, uh, most talked about switch as well. He's actually scored a couple goals. Three goals in eight games. So he still knows where the back of the net is. At a ripe old age of 80, uh, 88. 38 years of age. Uh, 116 caps. 62 goals this season. One every two. A uh, lone striker, of course. Formerly LA Galaxy. Uh, Man United. PSG. AC Milan. Uh, Barcelona. Inter Milan, Juventus, Ajax, he's been there, seen it and done it, he's got it all under one, Ruski, if there was a, a man that could be Blackburn overseas under one, Ruski, it would be Slatan Ibrahimovic, and he's going for free, and the feeling is he will be gone as well, will he continue his football somewhere else, has he got another chapter in a long old book, that my friends is my best 11, coming at you from Syria, ah, well, what about the values then? We'll take a closer look at it. So, so the, this the starting eleven uh, would cost you today's money before the contracts expire a cool 
59 million pounds that's right and if you want to add those uh, experience substitutes bench uh, that will bring you another 5.7 million pounds which will make this combined value of this squad right here 64.7 million pounds it's a bargain my friends it is a bargain waiting to waiting to happen will any of these boys see Serie A football again next year next season I think so I think you're looking at uh, Palermo will go somewhere nice uh, Calderon as well Dries Mertens has got another top level football at him I think Ashley Young's going to probably either stick around in Inter Milan uh, with uh, matey boy uh, Lukaku up top Ibrahimovic I don't know where he's going to go it'll be interesting to see and also maybe uh, well, Cellini uh, will he go as well of course experienced man then uh, but that my friends is it hopefully you enjoyed this little insight into the out of contract Serie A 11 best 11 if you agree or disagree let me know in your uh, comment section down below there was not many names that could really out upset the odds there it was just the amount of, of what kind of formation we're going to do but anyway that's my opinion uh, who do you you see as a as value for money on your free transfer market who would you gobble up for your team let me know in the comment section down below we'll do it all again tomorrow as we take a little look at la liga who's up for grabs over in spain we'll have a look at that tomorrow and again be sure to give this video some love and smash the thumbs up smash the subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers related championship related Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.